Jedi on the stream. All right, Ness yeah. of Legend. <laughs> I'm hype. The, uh, lo the loyalist <laughs> himself uh, playing a even better version of Ness, I'd say, uh, in this version. Uh, yeah, PK like fires busted, man. <laughs> you just get hit by it, and then like, you get hit by it again, and then you get hit by everything. So. The only major change was really that um, up air. Oh yeah, but, up air. But, but it's it's useful in different ways. Now. Right. It's not it's not like the Mario up smash in the air anymore. Right. But we're gonna go ahead and see how this match just goes down between these two. It looks like they're going right into it, also. And you know, I think as a player, I you know I've play, actually had the chance to play Jedi in a, quite a few matches, just like in friendlies. I think he's a super aggressive player almost to his own detriment you know what i mean like sometimes i just wish he would take a little bit of pacing right now the pace is firmly in control by uh captain uh, pikachu <laughs> um pikachu is just running running all over Ness right now but fortunately um jedi is back in the advantage position yeah and you're gonna see uh, what jedi is doing there the psi magnet the movement capabilities of it are extremely more versatile in this version of the game and you can see that you know, he's just basically spamming it. It's almost like uh, you'll see like Foxes like pull out Shine and melee or something like that. It's, it's, it's kind of similar to that. But there we go. The fair puts him off stage. Very good oh, back air to guard break right there. Very good. Yeah. Uh, most most people in that situation, they're just kind of hoping they don't die. But you know, again, Jedi being kind of the aggressive player, he picked the aggressive guard break and back aired right through it. Yeah. You can tell Jedi's trying to reach just behind the Pikachu just so that he can get that back throw, be able to seal out the stock. Well, you'll take some uh, Thunder Juggles instead. Yeah, PK Thunder in this game is quite an adventure to get through. <laughs> yep. I mean, you only have one air dodge. So that makes it significantly better. Rolls right into the forward smash, though. So Jedi's going to take that first stock. Yeah, let's see if uh, Pikachu has the uh, the answer. Got Has him off stage. Good tech. Yeah. Usually, I'll see the Pikachu either like do the forward air or the back air or something like that or even a dare now that Pikachu has a spike got rid of the jump very smart as it went immediately for that spike there yeah talk about a rebuttal it looked like Jedi was gonna have a chance to open up a little bit of a lead but you know it just took the stock right away yeah. but now he's opening up that lead we were just I was just talking about yeah we just went in again for the baseball bat not gonna quite work out there though and I don't think he has his jump but he uses directional air dodge to make it back very smart but he doesn't have a jump again I don't know if you saw that right there. Instead of uh, going for the throw, he just went down and grab, you know, grab released him off stage and put Ness in a bad position. Yep. Very interesting. Uh, you know, the Pikachu playing that positional game rather than the damage game. Yep. And then you see uh, he was getting lead trapped a little bit there by the yo-yo at the stage, but since you have uh, invincible get up attack all the way through, you can go ahead and uh, just plow right through it. It'll take stock, and that should be it. Yeah, I like that. Just in case. The Magna hands were through. He knew that he wasn't gonna sweet spot the ledge, so yeah, get very, that very clean edge guard right there. You know, uh, Jedi was just trying his best to get back on stage. Almost had it, but you know that forward smash comes for us all eventually. All right, quick attacks back to the stage. He's holding it, trying to build a little bit of a lead, but Jedi desperately throwing out these PK Thunders to try to get that stock back. A little PK Thunder too, maybe trying to catch him sleeping, but is able to use that Nair to clear, uh, clear out the stock. Yeah, jump Nair, that should be able to do it. Uh, and that's still a uh, character, very strong aerials in this game, so should be able to seal out the stock relatively easily, even at those higher percents with no setups. And he has him off stage, but Jedi able to get back. That's kind of where Pikachu's been getting all of his mileage, right? As soon as Ness is off stage, then it's it's uh, go time. Yeah, exactly. Like right oh, now. The drag down Nair, but wasn't in the quiet position to get that. Uh, Follow up he I was almost wondering if he was going to just take the PK Thunder 2 hit <laughs> intentionally just to, because it might have, you know, if he uh, if he hits the tech, then he's dead, right? Yeah. In a last lock situation, it's kind of tough, though, because you get that little zoom in thing. Yeah. Oh, happens, it throws so the timing Yeah, it throws off your tech timing, so it can be a little bit dangerous if you're not used to it. And uh, Pikachu's got to be a little, oh, there's that timing that we were talking about. Sedge the Prophet. <laughs> the Prophet. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's why. <laughs> On the last stock, like any other any other stock, it's fine. But yeah. like the last stock, especially, <laughs> it's like it's very very scary to end up trying to do. So yeah, he just uh, he couldn't get that tech, and you saw that the blue rim was around that tech uh, situation, so you knew that it was techable. Mm -hmm. And now in this game, only the the red rings uh, show that it was untechable, which is based on knockback instead. Yeah. Yeah, that's a uh, you know a good set. I think you know if you're uh, Captain Pikachu there, you gotta just. Take a step back. You know it was a close set. If you had cleaned up that last edge guard, you probably had taken, you know, taken the match and you'd be sitting in the lead. So yeah. I wouldn't change too much. I wouldn't mix up the game plan a whole lot. 
Um, on the other side, Jedi, of course, kind of, you got to be breathing a little bit of a sigh of relief. You're in a disadvantage situation and able to steal out that victory with the PK Thunder, too. So we'll just see what kind of adaptations both players bring to the table coming into the second game. I think it was just a big case of Pikachu just taking the bite when he really shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. Because the Ness was really, really low at at that last uh, edge guard situation. Right. So that, those were those awkward situations where you can't really see where your character is, so then, then you get, get hit by something, and then now you can't see where you're going to have to tech and stuff like that. So I think he just took the bait a little bit too early, should have waited for a more opportune moment, because now edge guards are a little bit more <laughs> risk factor mm -hmm. uh, in this version of the game, especially with how recoveries and air dodges and all that have been uh, played out uh, in the new main game mechanics. Both of them are going back and forth, trying to figure out what our uh, next stage and our next uh, game's gonna be. Yep. Uh, we, we still are in the early stages of the game where yeah. like people may not be used to like what the rule sets are. You'll see us some setups early. Like, there's even like the, the list of the stages you're gonna, you got and stuff like that. So yeah. we'll have to see um, how long it's gonna take for them to really pick out a stage and stuff like that. Should be coming in uh, pretty soon here, I think. You know, it's uh, it's a great time. How many people do we got at this tournament, man? Like 200, 20? Or 205? Yeah. Uh, I, I saw it at 215 at one point. I'm like, <laughs> I wonder how many of those people are pre-registered that are actually are all there. But 200 strong. Yeah. 200 strong. Hey, man. man the, traditionally, the MSMs at the New Year are always really, really big. Yeah. You know, New Year, New Me. I'm not going to go O2. <laughs> I'm not going to be that O2 guy anymore. <laughs> that kind of stuff. So people are really trying to show their stuff. You know, it's a new game and a new year. So we're going to see a lot of people really on that grind to see how far they can take their game. Right. And, of course, you can always join us, too. Uh, every week, like clockwork, come out to Huntington Beach, uh, Ultimate uh, Esports. You got the address right at the bottom. Come see me. Come see Sedge. We'll uh, show you the ropes and some Smash. Uh, hopefully, you'll be better than some of the commentators in the uh, <laughs> at the game. Uh, but we, we do all right when we can. Um, I mean, the, and then the brackets there also. Uh, in the event page, you can yeah. check, uh, like, all the info that you guys need to be able to see, you know, when it is or, like, how, if there's no MSM that week, et cetera, et cetera. And then it says uh, Monday at 7 p.m. If you can't make it, it's still fine. Talk to some TL, see what you can figure out because uh, yeah. they're very lenient about that kind of stuff. 7 p.m. is when we start our side event of the day. So I think today was a uh, squad strike. Squad strike with, with, uh, with final, final Smash Meter. Oh, man, I missed that. I wanted to <laughs> – I, I got tied up at work. I wanted to come in for that one just because – you know, I'm uh, an unashamed rule set liberal, and not that I would ever impose my beliefs on the rest of SoCal, but I, I have a much higher tolerance for what I think should or shouldn't be, not just what I think should, should or shouldn't be legal, but at least what is playable as opposed to what is not playable. Right. So I just kind of want to see what would happen if we just got enough people together to have an event with Final Smash. We're not saying it should be the main event, but at least let's try to see what happens when people hit the uh, hit the B button and they just blow yeah. each other up and see who comes out on top. And yeah. if I had to venture a guess, it probably wouldn't look too different than uh, the actual, you know, what singles results will end up being. But it might be a little bit, you know, it's uh, always it's nice bit, to yeah. throw a change up in there. And I, but I think some, some tier lists definitely change <laughs> if you add those Final Smashes. Yeah, definitely. Marth, Marth has that one-hit KO, you know. <laughs> I think we're, you know, I think we worked through some of the technical difficulties. Uh, I saw a Joy-Con come out, so I'm wondering if maybe it was a pro controller issue? Might have been. Uh, potentially, if that happens, there are some settings, like if you have uh, a Joy-Con at hand, you, yeah. can, you can connect it, find the settings for controllers, and then there's a way to hold X so you can disconnect all the controllers. So it's a really nice, uh, convenient feature if you have <laughs> a Joy-Con on you. That's the, that's the main catch. Apparently, if you have an Android phone, you can uh, sync your Pro Controllers to yeah, your... I do that. <laughs> oh, there you <laughs> I go. I do that myself. Uh, I uh, desynced, and then I uh, put in my Pro Controller. That way, that I don't bother anyone yeah. with my Pro Controller. It only works on Androids, unfortunately. So if you're an iPhone user, you're going to have to find a different way uh, to get that going. If you have an iPhone, then you're just going to have to bring your Switch to the tournament because oh, you're yeah. bougie already. You probably <laughs> yeah. own a Switch. And you just oh, yeah, plug yeah. it and sync it into your own Switch at home. But moving into game two. Oh, we got the Toon Link coming out. I was saying, don't change up too much. But um, we got we got a, a big change, new character on the screen. Yeah, Toon Link, basically kind of the in between between uh, regular Link and uh, Adult Link. Got, basically got uh, Adult Link's arrows, but at the same time, the what what is it like the boomerang and stuff, or like the movement is a little bit different, and the move sets uh, slightly. And the different. more traditional like, bombs too, yeah, instead of the setup. Yeah, you that's know. what I was like. Yeah. Yeah. So well, right now it looks like uh, Cam Pikachu is really having a hard time. Getting his uh, momentum going. Or at least getting back on the stage. Jedi just had him out there all day. But very good movement at neutral. I see, like, you know, quite a bit of that dash back going off stage after him. Um, but kind of mixing up, you know, I, I think, 
you know, Pikachu kind of understands that Jedi is trying to be pretty aggressive, so he's pulling in and out in that neutral game and just kind of, oh, uh, but eventually I was going to say he has to look out for uh, Jedi stuffing him with a Pikachu fire. The DI for back throw in this game pretty much the same, actually. You know, if you're on uh, the same side where you're being thrown off, then just hold left. You should be able to survive just fine. But if you're on the opposite side of, like, the, where past the middle of the stage and you're going the opposite direction, then you want to hold down and, uh, and into that direction, like, yeah. diagonally. That way you can find the corner of the stage and be able to survive. And Nair, though, going to be able to take him out as Ken Pikachu is trying to get some momentum going on those juggles. Yeah, no DI in that one right there. He just, sooner or later, Ness just has so much power in the air. Speaking of power in the air, there's an upper to clean out that stock, and we got that rebuttal from Pikachu, and we got ourselves a match. Yeah. All right, we got the basic uh, bombs that was going, like the bombs in air and stuff like that, and just being able to try and get his space. But every time Jedi tries to throw out these projectiles, Jedi, uh, or Pikachu has been trying to throw out projectiles, Jedi's been cornering him, and then is able to get his hits in anyway. So I feel like the way. Oh, oh shoot, got a miscue right there. That's not what you want to see. Yeah, so now he's down to his uh, last stop. Yeah, unfortunate directional air dodge. If you're below the, the floor of the stage itself, then it's pretty much impossible to make it back unless you play a character like Inkling or the Pits or something like that. And of course, Jedi giving him, you know, there's no rest for the wicked right now. Jedi just putting on all the pressure he can, but Pikachu able to reverse the situation, trying to mount his best to come back as he can. Yep, he's getting some juggles going, and I like what he's doing. Since there's no shield dropping in this game, you pretty much have to. What you see is what you get. We're trying to get off platform. Right. You either have attack mix-ups, you got dodge mix-ups, stuff like that. So Captain Pikachu definitely making the most out of it. And it looks like he's, uh, oh, I was about to say, he stopped the projectile camping and, uh, oh, no. No, oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, uh, I wonder if that was a buffer issue because, you know, sometimes it's either a buffer.